Yo, welcome back to Heavy Hitter Media, man. This is a sad one. I don't know if you guys remember Welcome to Sweetie Pies and Andre Montgomery, which was Robbie, the owner's grandson, who was the son of her son who died. You know, he was killed. This is a sad one. This is in relation to Tim potentially uh, being the boss of a murder for hire plot. So here we go. Let's get it started. A St. Louis man pleaded guilty Friday to murdering a former local reality TV show star for pay while implicating others in the high-profile crime. Travell Anthony Hill, 30, was convicted of conspiracy to commit murder for hire and a separate count for murder for hire Friday in the March 2016 killing of 21-year-old Andre Montgomery Jr. Damn, he was just 21. Montgomery was the former star on Welcome to Sweetie Pies, an own reality show about a soulful business founded by his grandmother, Robbie Montgomery, in the St. Louis area. Hill's sentencing is scheduled for September, but both counts carry a mandatory life sentence in prison, U.S. District Judge John A. Ross said at the plea hearing Friday. In Hill's plea agreement Friday, he admitted to shooting and killing Montgomery in exchange for $5,000. $5, wow. Two days after the death, according to an indictment, he was recorded discussing it with his brothers on calls from jail. Girl! Dumbass. Hill's plea agreement also implicated two of the three other people also charged in the murder for hire plot that, according to prosecutors, involved life insurance policies, burner phones, and payouts. Hill said in his plea agreement that the victim's uncle James Tim Norman, another star of the TV show, hired Hill because he wanted Montgomery dead. Hill also stated in his plea that a woman, Terrica Ellis, who was also part of the plot and was hired by Norman to lure Montgomery outside and tell Hill where he was before the shooting in the 3900 block of Natural Bridge Drive. That's where her son, his dad, died. They said that on the show. Wow. Police in the earlier hearings testified that Ellis, an exotic dancer who was working in Memphis at the time, had a previous romantic relationship with Norman. Child. Norman and Ellis are facing conspiracy to commit murder charges with a trial set for September. Federal prosecutors would not seek the death penalty in the case. I wonder, I guess they can do that there. Norman is also accused in an indictment of attempting to cash in a $450,000 in life insurance policies he took out on his nephew. Damn. With the help of an insurance agent, Whale Rabhi Yang Nim, before the killing. Lord, I know I'm butchering that name. <laughs> Norman and Yagnam are also charged with wire and mail fraud. Yagnam also faces counts of aggravated identity theft. Child, this man is crazy. A break in the case. A burglary at the home of family matriarch Robbie Montgomery caused family turmoil in the months before the killing. Police records obtained in 2020 by the Post Dispatch showed. Sweetie Pie's owner Robbie Montgomery, the grandmother of shooting victim Andre and Norman's mother, reported a burglary at her North St. Louis County home while she was on vacation in 2015. At least 220000 worth of cash, jewelry, and other items were stolen, according to the police records. Was Robbie girl? You got it like that? The police document stated that the officers initially investigated Andre Montgomery for the burglary. Wow. But after more than nine months out of town, you know what? That's when they fell out, too. He met with officers and took a polygraph test in March 2016. At the time, he denied being involved in the theft and told police he thought his uncle Norman was behind it. Tim probably was, allegedly. Andre Montgomery explained that he left town to be with a female. Told officers his grandmother was trying to remove Tim from Sweetie Pie's business ventures, according to the police accounts. I'm summarizing, y'all. Four days later, Andre Montgomery was killed. Investigators never closed the burglary case. Man, Andre Montgomery joined Sweet Welcome to Sweetie Pies, which ran for five seasons on own around 2011 after he came to live with his grandmother, Robbie. His father was killed in 1995, stabbing. Oh, Lord. So Andre Montgomery grew up in Lubbock, Texas with his mother and would later come spend summers in St. Louis with his grandmother just to move back and die. Wow. He moved back into Robbie's home to live in the basement full time in 2010. Andre Montgomery was paid as a cast member of Welcome to Sweetie Pies until 2013, appearing in various scenes. I'm summarizing y'all. 
He played a part in a chicken costume, promoting the family business, pursuing a rap career, depicted his graduation from McClure North High School. Federal prosecutors wrote in the indictment that Norman took out a 450K life insurance policy on his nephew a year before the burglary, making himself the sole beneficiary. Ellis, the co-defendant accused of luring Andre Montgomery to the scene of the killing, used to work at the Bottoms Up Club in Metro East where she was a stripper. <laughs> it didn't say that, but I'm saying it. Police believed then that Norman promised her 10K, which was also testified. Federal charging documents say that in the days after the shooting, Ellis deposited more than 9K into several of her bank accounts. Thurman testified Ellis told police the burglary at Robbie Montgomery's home had made Norman's boys, in quotation marks, want to get up on his nephew, in quotation marks. I wonder what the hell that meant. Get up on him. Norman is also accused of trying to collect on his nephew's life insurance policies, but was never able to get the money according to the indictment. Yagnum is accused of providing false information on the life insurance policies, including information about Andre Montgomery's income. Of course, I'm going to say Yangum. It might not be it, but Yangum worked in the life insurance after Korean music industry that included producing for Nelly. Girl, why y'all got to throw Nelly up in this? After the charges, TV clips from Welcome to Sweetie Pie started to circulate, showing Norman mourning the death of his nephew that he's accused of setting up. Norman visited the scene of the killing with his mother and TV cameras in 2016. All right, everyone, that's it again. Thank you for coming to Heavy Hitter Media. If you enjoyed it, hit the notification button, subscribe, like, and comment. Have a good one. Y'all be easy.